Now, your local Storm Tracker 2 forecast. Welcome back everyone. As we take a look on satellite radar, you can see there's very little activity. This was kind of the theme for the majority of our weekend. We didn't see much happening besides a good amount of those low level clouds. There were some days where we didn't even see the sun peek out because that fog just stayed stagnant the whole day. Now, as we go into this morning, we are still seeing some of that dense fog, but we're going to make way to some partly cloudy skies. That's what we're expecting by the time we get to uh, the afternoon hours. You can see the sun should peek out for a good amount of the day. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s uh, to round it out just around the 3 and 4 o'clock hour before we decline back to the lower 30s, if not the upper 20s in the overnight hours. Now, a couple of things to know going forward are that we've got the dry weather that we're seeing today continuing through about the middle of the week. By the time we get to Thursday, that's when we start to see these changes come about where a good amount of rain and snow is going to begin to move in. It's going to happen later Thursday, more toward Friday, but we'll see how that uh, moves in closer to uh, the later portion of the week. The downside to this is that as this wet weather comes through, it's likely going to be affecting that weekend. We're looking at snow and rain through your Saturday and your Sunday, which means even more uh, wet weather after this uh, kind of prolonged dry streak that we've been seeing. Forecast of temperatures by the time we get to 4 p.m. are going to be mainly just above that freezing point through Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. 33 in Spokane, 34 in Coeur d'Alene. We'll see the 40s over towards central Washington. Moses Lake will be at 40, Othello at 40 as well. But as we go into your overnight hours, we'll dip back below that freezing point, which means there is still uh, some slickness on those roads. And it's important to keep in mind uh, if you're headed out during those morning hours. So future tracker still showing those clouds clearing out for the day. By the time we get to 830 tonight, we're not looking at any clouds on satellite radar or on future tracker, but computer models show this dry weather it's going to continue all the way through your Tuesday and into your Wednesday. By the time we get to Thursday, that's when we start to see those clouds move in and a stronger chance for showers building from Thursday into your Friday. Now on your seven day forecast, you can see temperatures are pretty stable. We're not seeing too much of a fluctuation in these temperatures, but the important thing to know is that the dry weather that we saw begin in about the middle of last week is going to continue all the way through the beginning of your week. Now your weekend was dry. Now Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're looking to stay dry. Thursday is going to be that kind of transitionary day where we start to see some of those rain showers develop over the valleys, mountain snow showers. By the time we get to Friday, we're looking at widespread rain and snow throughout the region, and that's likely what we're seeing continue throughout your weekend. So from Friday into Saturday is when we're most confident to see those showers, and then we're likely going to see them linger into your Sunday. Otherwise, we're looking at a dry first couple days, and then we see the wet weather move in. So that's the important thing to keep in mind. Temperatures again just around that average point.